guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we've got a big one for you. We've got the True PX and the Trigger 7 Pro from CCM. Both of these sticks are top spec. Of course, both of these sticks are the exact same spec in terms of curve and flex. So what we're going to be doing in this video is trying to figure out which one of these two sticks is the best stick. Now, of course you guys know Tommy's number one stick is the Trigger 7 Pro. So what we're going to find out in this video kind of caught me off guard and it's probably going to catch you off guard as well. So make sure you stick around until the end to find out exactly how this kind of like battle of the low kick sticks pans out. But as always guys, let's jump into it and see how these two sticks hold up. And of course guys, before we jump into the video, make sure that you like and also subscribe and turn notifications on. A lot of you that come back to watch our videos every week or every time we post one aren't subscribed. It's free to do it, it really helps the channel grow, so make sure that you like, turn notifications on and subscribe before we jump into the video. Now of course, taking a look at the main tech or the tech highlights in the Hazardous PX from True. Now with this being a low kick stick, we're going to be seeing True's Res Flow technology, which essentially is focused resin flow for stronger and more consistent performance. From there, it's going to be True's PLD, which is essentially optimized ply angles and placements for lighter weight without sacrificing on durability. Now from there, we're going to be seeing True's TRT blade design, which is their tri-rib construction with placements designed to match impact points for improved performance and added stiffness. We also see an all new foam core with impact compression and sheer strength. This essentially allows the true engineers to reduce the blade weight by 10% when VS'd against the previous generation, which was the Project X. Now this was essentially unachievable, so it's been a big advancement for True to be able to have done this in the new Hazardous PX. Next up we see low resin content. Now what that means is essentially new material advances allow for less resin to significantly reduce the weight of the stick. This is only made possible by True's zero resin loss manufacturing process, which results in what True are calling the most consistent weight in the industry on this particular stick. True have also gone ahead and reinforced the hosel or the hosel's bending strength and increased it by 20% higher than if it was VS'd against the Project X from the previous generation. And last up, the stick weight comes in at 345 grams, making this to date the second lightest stick on the market. And of course, you've seen a bunch of our videos where we touch on a stick being too light versus being light enough for you to utilize on its performance. We feel that this kind of sits in a very sweet spot, but of course, this is personal preference. Now from there, looking at the key technology packed into the Trigger 7 Pro from CCM, we're going to be seeing Sigma STP Carbon, which is Sigma Tex's new carbon weave, which is going to improve on previous generations of sticks. Essentially, this is going to be providing better durability and strength, while also allowing for a lighter and better balanced stick. From there, we're also going to be seeing CCM's Nanolite Carbon Layering, which is going to be working with that Sigma STP Carbon for a lighter feeling stick and also a more durable stick. From there, we can't forget about CCM's unique stick geometry with the Trigger range of sticks. Of course, if you want to see a standalone review of the Trigger 7 Pro, those will be linked down below in the video description where we kind of go into the details about the stick's performance and its specific features and technologies in a lot more detail. All right, Mr. Tommy, we've got a big one over here. Big one over here. We sure do. We have the True Hazardous PX versus a personal fave of mine, the Trigger 7 Pro. I'm gonna start off by saying, release-wise, they're both low kick point. And before some of you comment, they're the same spec, same flex, the exact same, there's no difference. The release is the exact same. The stick almost releases the shot before you expect it to, which is nuts. Let's just think about that for a second. You don't expect the puck to come off your stick, and it does, and not in a bad way, in a very, very good way. Because the goalie's not gonna expect it if you don't. I've always said that, especially with the Trigger 7 Pro. Um, one thing that does stand out between these two sticks is I can slap shot with this one very well. I can't with this one. The True I find very hard to slap shot with, or so I say the True PX is quite hard to slap shot with. I think it's a little bit lighter than the Trigger 7 Pro. However, if we like to mention the PX's um, little bit heavier brother, um, the 9X, it is on par with the Trigger 7 Pro. So the model below, the model below, the model below top spec par. is on par with your go-to, my go-to game stick at um, 
in season, in season. I'm in season right now, and the Trigger 7 Pro is what I'm using. Um, there could be a contender. There could be a contender. That's unreal. Uh, and like like Chris said, it's not it's not the top of the range one. Um, we're not slating this stick. We're not saying it's bad. We're not saying the PX is terrible. A lot of you have watched some other videos. You know I like a stick with a little bit of weight behind it. That is this. It's the exact same. The release is an absolute joke. You can feel the puck, but you can also take that power shot, which is a big difference for me. I know I said I don't use a slap shot very often, but on the slight chance I do, I don't want a muff in it. <laughs> if it pops out to me in the slot and I need to take a slap shot, I want to be able to rocket the puck. Okay, that's unreal. So you're... <laughs> So what, so what do we say about True then? Where where do True rank? I mean, we've not really looked at their products in quite a long time, so it's nice that it, it, this I've, is a very un, unusual result. This is result. the first time I've touched True. Oh, okay. I've never used True before, and I am very, very, very impressed. Very impressed with what they've done here. Especially, like, considering I'm using the one below and not top of the range. That That's saying a lot. For them to be able to bring their second of the range stick, and make it contend with top of the range sticks from other manufacturers is big. That's unreal. So the PX, you don't disregard the PX, it's just a little bit too light for your style of play. Exactly. But it, the 9X is on par with your favorite stick. So yeah. that, would you say top, they're, they're tied at top to number one? They are, yes. Yeah, tied at number one. Tied at number one. It's gonna be a hard decision on what sticks I'm gonna use this weekend. That's unbelievable. Any other comments on, uh, on what you thought of the stick? Any other sort of areas that you felt that it really excelled? Uh, the release. The release is an absolute joke, bro. I mean, you see it in some of the clips. You, you can just, you can catch a goalie off guard. They're not expecting that quick release and it just pings, it goes. And the consistency? It's very nice. I think this one's a little bit more consistent than this one, but that might just be the weight. Like I said, I'm, I'm more of a player that likes weight behind it than not. If you're that type of player that doesn't like to feel that your stick is there, the PX is a stick for you. But if you're a player like me that likes a little bit of weight behind your stick so you can really feel like you can lean into that shot, the 9X is is up there. And I'm not saying that like, oh, it's a, it's a second range stick, it's okay. Like, it is up there with the top manufacturers. It is a very, very nice stick. Okay. It's, it's, it's ranked highly in, uh, in my eyes. Like, they've done very well here. Fair. As always guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Make sure you comment down below and let us know what reviews you want us to feature next on the channel. A big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and take care until next time.